What's up? I'm going to review this Stem Reaper High Stem Pre-Workout, 30 servings. It was uh, $34.99, so it's a pretty, uh, it's a cheaper pre-workout, I guess. Uh, so here's the ingredients, proprietary blend on everything. I'm kind of waiting for the camera to focus. Come on. There we go. And pause it. Look what you got. Uh, I took this and I didn't. It says beta alanine. It's bull crap. I didn't feel any tingles. Nothing. No goosebumps. Nothing like that. <sighs> it helped me empty my stomach, sort of. Um, no thirst quenching. Um, I felt, honestly, I, I don't like this. I'm just going to say that straight up. Usually the first time I take a pre-workout, 9 out of 10 times, the first time I take it is the best I'll feel. And I got a good night rest, which does not happen often. Got a good night rest. like a, It's like a one time a, every couple week kind of thing. Good night sleep. Uh, diet's been pretty on on point for what I want. Getting plenty of carbs, protein, vitamins, all, all the good stuff I'm getting. Diet's been on point. Um, I haven't taken a pre-workout. It's been a couple of days. I've had a little bit of a break. And taste-wise, yeah, blue raspberry. Oh, it tastes kind of gross. Yeah. The Mr. Hyde Blue Raspberry is better. But, honestly, this, speaking of Mr. Hyde, that's about what I could compare it to. It just, I don't know how much caffeine's in here. At 4,060 grams. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't like it. I feel tired. When I got to the gym, uh, I was sleepy. Uh, I, I just didn't feel good. I had to mentally push myself through the workout. I felt better before I took this. So, like, I would have been better off just not taking it. So, with that being said, I might give it another shot another day. Like, I don't know. I hate ruining my workouts, though. Like, this workout today is kind of shitty. I felt weak. Just wasn't in it. I felt like the energy on this was supposed to hit. Never did. But I felt like I was just in the middle of a caffeine crash when I was there. And uh, yeah, that, that's typically what happens with a caffeine and hydrous focused pre-workout. I just get a crash. And it's weird. Like coffee, the devil's label coffee, uh, it had a, a ton of caffeine, like 1,500 milligrams. But there was no crash. It was no raging energy, but smooth, consistent energy. So I wasn't like much stronger, but I, I could get through the workout. No struggles whatsoever. And it works at work as well. Work at a 12-hour shift. I could pull that off and just fine. This stuff, I would go work and within a couple hours, I'd be raging. I'd be tired, like, before four hours, before even a third of the shift is over, I'd be ready, and just too tired. My performance would start to suffer, too. So, yeah, uh, like I said, I'll probably try this one more time. But I took a full scoop. It says take a half a scoop, start with half a scoop. Um... Yeah, I took a full scoop. Who knows? I might try half a scoop. I might try just half a scoop and see. I felt kind of sick at first as well. Like, I just... For the first hour, I just felt kind of sick. Now, I feel like a zombie. So, I haven't been up that long. My day off. Woke up. Good night rest. Took a walked around for about an hour and a half. Took some pre-workout. Went to the gym and 
Ugh, I just have to pull myself through. And, uh, yeah, I don't like this. I guess we'll just be blunt. I don't like it. So, I'm going to try it one more time at least. Maybe two. Might try half a scoop and then a scoop. If it sucks both those times, well, I'm giving it away to someone I know. So, that's it.